LMA and welcome back. In this video we're going to look at the differences between the two main ways of earning money from your games. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting the notification icon, that really helps me out. And of course an even bigger thank you to my members and patrons, your names will run across the screen at the end of the video. If you are interested in supporting the channel then please feel free to visit the Patreon in the description down below or you can simply join the channel by hitting the join button next to the subscribe button. So let's jump into this then. The two main ways that developers, particularly of visual novels, can earn money from their games currently is either using the Patreon crowdfunding subscription based model or simply using the Steam business model. There are pros and cons to each and we're going to talk about those. It is worth mentioning that there are one or two less scrupulous developers who are trying to combine the two. Maybe in the short term seems like a good idea, but in the long term, as I've read many of the reviews of some of the games that these particular developers are doing, is all it's doing really is annoying customers because if you buy a game on Steam, you expect to own the game. You don't expect to then be bombarded with notices to become a patron to see the rest of the content of the game which is rather unfortunately what certain individuals have been doing with their games. And I would strongly advise you to think hard before you make a commitment to go down that route because you might be a bit of a short-term gain, but in the long term, no one's gonna take you seriously as a developer. So first, let's look at Patreon. Patreon is a platform where users can subscribe for a fee, which you set and it takes a small cut depending on the services you choose to use. The rest is paid into your account at the start of each month. And the way that it usually works is that you create new content each month and add it to your game, providing the patrons with a download link to either a special version of the game or extra content. And then that keeps them interested and keeps them subscribing to your page, basically. There are pros and cons to using it. The pros are that A, you get paid monthly, which is obviously quite useful. And it's very quick and easy to set up. You can normally have a Patreon page up and running within a week. You have to wait for approval from the Patreon team. So if your game consists of content which maybe breaches their policies, then you're probably gonna get rejected. However, as long as you manage to get through the checks, you can normally, in my experience, a Patreon page normally only takes about 48 hours to set up, meaning that you can be up and running and earning money very quickly. It also allows you to keep a dialogue open with your customers, and that can help you understand why they do or don't like certain parts of the game. Obviously, in order to do that, you have to actually listen to what they say and not dismiss them offhand like uh, some devs do. But it can be a uh, two-way street allowing you to get inspiration and ideas for upcoming content and you can find out what your customers do and don't like. There are obviously some cons to using Patreon as well. Firstly, you have to do all the marketing yourself. Patreon is not going to help you in any way. Particularly if you're making adult visual novels, they don't really even want you on their platform. They just don't want to ban them outright because of what happened when they tried to purge adult content once before and they lost huge num numbers, huge amounts of money because they suddenly realized that the large part at that time of their platform had been built around adult content. So they're not gonna help you, so you're gonna have to do all your marketing yourself. Patreon is quite fickle as well and they will ban you outright with very little reason. If someone reports your game for content that violates their terms of service, they aren't going to play your game to figure out if that report is true. The chances are they're going to give you a warning and it's very, very easy to get banned from Patreon and take it from someone who knows. Likewise, fans are very fickle as well. Because they're supporting you each and every month, they do tend to feel like they're in some way entitled to be able to dictate your content and control what you do. And if you don't do what they want, they will leave you and they will leave you in swathes and they won't leave you particularly positive feedback either. The final con of Patreon is that it has a relatively low earning potential for most developers. It doesn't have a particularly large number of people who use the site compared to the alternative. And it's, uh, as I said, the marketing and all of that sort of stuff you have to do yourself. So overall, the majority of developers of visual novels earn um, very low numbers. 
There are a few who manage to get the stars to align and earn large numbers, but overall, if you're expecting to be able to earn $25,000, $35,000 a month, then you're kidding yourself, realistically. On the other hand, we have the Steam business model. Now, Steam, as you may or may not know, is a platform with millions of users, probably even billions at this point, buying games every day. Developers have a pretty strong toolkit to work with, including the ability to allow users to start up their own community and have discussions which allow them to either engage with you or each other. The main pros of Steam, firstly, it has a huge earning potential with a vast pool of potential customers. I know I use the word potential twice in that sentence, but it's true. The amount of people that use Steam that will potentially, again, come across your uh, game means that you have a really, really high uh, chance of earning decent money. Steam will also market the game for you up to a certain point. They're not going to put adverts on the TV or spam the internet with it, but it will tend to find its way into people's recommended queues and the sort of uh, trending if you are doing quite well. So you still have to market the game yourself, but Steam will certainly help in that respect. And they don't penalize people for having adult content. If they flag someone as being someone who's interested in that sort of content, then it will probably appear in their feed at some point. It also allows you to start building a reputation as a legitimate game developer. As silly as it may sound, but the people who release games on Patreon still aren't really considered to be legitimate game developers for various reasons, which I'm not going to go into. However, if you are releasing a game on Steam, for whatever reason, people will see you as being a, as more likely of being a legitimate game developer. And as long as you keep your customers happy and you don't do anything daft, like trying to get them to subscribe to your Patreon page at the same time, then they're going to remember the name of you as a game developer. Steam also has a dedicated team of customer support specialists who will deal with most queries, meaning that you can focus on your content rather than having to constantly uh, and, uh, respond to DMs on Patreon or on some forum, which is a really, really important thing. If you're a, a fresh developer who has not had to experience this thus far, and then you're probably not going to understand what I'm talking about with regards to experience. But trust me when I say this, once you start a Patreon page, all of the people who are going to come and support you, they're going to want you to give them a lot of your attention. Not all of them, but there are going to be one or two who are going to be very demanding of your time. And if you refuse to give them your time, then again, you're going to be dealing with negative feedback and potentially losing all of your subscribers, which is less than ideal because you get paid by the, those people. The cons of Steam, however, are a, it has an initial cost to set up. Last time I checked, it was roughly $100. It takes a short period of time to set up. Unlike Patreon, where you set up the page entirely yourself, Steam has a very, very set template, but you have to provide them with enough material, enough marketing material and information to be able to actually build the page. So it's one of those things. It's, gonna, it's not a five-minute job. It's going to take you a while to get it to set up. Obviously, another con is that it isn't monthly. Once someone buys your game, they own your game. Customers can leave reviews right on your sales page, which is great if you're doing a really good job and everybody's happy. However, as uh, games like um, No Man's Sky recently, or not so recently now, learned, um, having the negative reviews right there on the sales page can have a huge impact on your sales. So there are swings and roundabouts, and as I said, there's pros and cons to both business models. The only advice I can really give you is think seriously about what you want to achieve if you're planning on playing the long game or if you're planning on just milking your game for as much as you can initially. Then there are different business models that are going to work for you. There are other ways of earning money from these games as well. Some of them I'm not going to promote, such as uh, there are a couple of companies out there whose business model or their name of their, their company revolves around hot beverages. Um, however, I wouldn't recommend those because my experience of one of those is that they stole money that I was owed. Um, and again, are very fickle. They, you know, ban straight away. And if, you, if you've got money in your balance, they just won't give it to you. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Realistically, whichever business model you choose is really down to personal preference. They are both easy enough to 
do. However, obviously, what you want to achieve in the long term is really going to dictate which is the best option for you. So I hope that little bit of information gave you some insight and something to think about. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm sure you will. And I will see you in the next one. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves. All right. Bye bye.